Caring for kids, lady with the emerald ring, rich man's wife came deathly ill the night before Christmas in 1798. So he called for the doctor. By the time the doctor arrived, his wife had died. Oh, so it seemed. Her husband was so grief stricken. He locked himself in his room and did not attend the funeral the following day. The servants of the house carried a rich woman's body to the vicar, who, a drunken stupor, held the ceremony quickly. The veil was drawn across the place, the stone did lowered, and the iron grill locked. Just before the clergyman, clergyman fell to sleep later that night, he remembered the beautiful emerald ring on the finger of the woman he had laid to rest. Wanting the ring and thinking no one would find out, he went downstairs, unlocked the lid, opened it, and tried to pry off the ring. It would not budge. He ran and brought back a file to cut the ring off her finger. When that did not work, he severed her finger and pulled the ring off. When... That didn't work. He severed the finger and pulled the ring off. As he left, he turned around to pick up the old iron lid and screamed at the top of his lungs. He dropped the ring and ran. The woman had wakened, was moaning, and held her severed fingers towards him with an evil smile on her face. Wearing nothing but a fine silk dress, the woman walked back to her home, knocked at the door, rang the bell. But to no avail, the servants had gone, gone to sleep, for it was late on Christmas Eve. She lifted a heavy stone, threw it at her husband's window, and waited. He came to the window with a sorrowful look on his face. Suddenly, to her surprise, he yelled, Go away! You must! Why must you torture me so? Don't you know my wife has just died? Let me mourn and do not bother me again. With this, he shut the window. He did not realise it was his wife who had thrown a rock at the window. She repeated her actions, again throwing a rock at the window. He opened the window again. She yelled to him, I am no one but your so-called dead wife. Now come down here and open the door, lest you like me to die a second time on your doorstep. You're, you're a ghost then, he said to her. She said, no, for ghosts don't bleed. I'll come down here before I catch my death of cold. The man with a joyous look on his face came down to meet his wife and then looked to her inside where he called the doctor once more, told him the news. Meanwhile, the clergyman ran home, up the stairs, state of fright, he hung himself in the rafters of his house. Of his home, he had only known that the woman only wanted to thank him. She had not died after all, had gone into coma. When he cut off her finger, a pain woke her.